Hey, what is up, everybody? Michael Crump back here again, talking about the latest and the greatest in PlayStation 4, homebrew news, and much, much more. So I've got a question for you. Have you ever wanted to play MPV files on your PlayStation 4? Well, if the answer to that is yes, but you've been unable to, I have a solution that's here for you. So this is an open source project simply called PPlay that allows you to play MPV files as well as MP4 and a bunch of other formats. Let's go ahead and let's take a look at how to use this project and then we'll experiment with a couple of different videos on our PlayStation 4. So the very first thing that you're going to need to do is to go to the GitHub page, which is going to be linked into the description below, and then download this pplay-38 underscore ps4.zip file. And so once you've downloaded it, what I did was I pulled out my USB thumb drive and I inserted it into my computer. And then I just copied that full zip file over to my USB drive. And so once that's complete, you're going to need to extract it. So I'm just going to go ahead and right click here and I'm going to go down to where it says extract here. And once it finishes here, we should have a pplay folder and there is going to be a package inside of it along with a font file. Okay, so it has been completed. We could go ahead and just delete this existing zip file just to keep things nice and tidy here. Okay, so let's go into the pplay and there is the pkg file that we will install and then there is a data folder. Now one thing to keep in mind with this data folder is, is that we will need to copy this over to the data folder on our PlayStation 4. It's just something with the installation process. They didn't bake that in, so you have to do it manually. So over on our PlayStation 4, we're going to go ahead and go into PS4 Explorer, and I'm in the mount directory slash USB 0, and I'm going to go down to where it says pplay, and I'm going to press X. And now inside of this, I am going to go ahead and press X on the package. Now it will beep. I've tried this on a number of PlayStation 4s. And it just seems like for some reason, again, the installer isn't fully baked just yet. But it is okay. If you press X again, then it will go ahead and install. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to do so here. And there we go, added to downloads. And then in just a second, it will say that it did finish successfully. Okay, ready to use. Okay, so let's go inside the data folder and then we should see pplay. Let's hit the triangle button and then we're gonna go down to where it says copy here and then press X. Now we're going to press R3 to get back to our home. And let's go into the data folder and then we're going to press triangle again, and then we're going to select paste and then press X. You'll know that this works successfully if you can go back into pplay, mpv, and then see this subfont.ttv. That means that it has been copied over successful and we're ready to start the application. And then before we get started, the one thing that I did want to call out here is, is that I am using the Uncharted 2022 release, and this is a 1080p MKV file. This does have a couple of different audio streams along with it, as well as a couple of subtitles. So I thought this would be a pretty good test. Okay, so let's go ahead and go back and load up pplay. And so this is the pplay interface. It's very bland, but I believe that's okay because for the most part, it gets the job done. So we are going to navigate back with circle button, and then we're going to hit circle again. And we are going to go down to USB zero here. And then we're going to select uncharted and then press X. And please wait down at the bottom. And now the movie is loading up. So I'm going to go over to options here by pressing triangle. And then for video, there is only just this one stream right here, which is okay. Let's go ahead and let's go back and let's go to audio. And there's a couple of different streams here. We'll try out some of those. And then there is the subtitles. I'll go ahead and switch this to English for the subtitle. And we can see that the movie is starting and then down at the very bottom, there is a subtitle. 
There's also the standard things such as the time that the movie has been running for. There is a pause button. Obviously, you can do all the things such as rewind or fast forward. And there is just a simple stop button there. Okay, we'll let this play here just for a moment. And yes, everything will be blurred out so I can prevent copyright violations. Okay, so there is a nice little animation there once you stop the movie. What we'll do is we'll just go ahead now and we'll resume the movie. And it picked up, obviously, right there. I am going to test another audio stream. You won't be able to hear this in the final recording, but at least I'll be able to do a quick test here and see how well that it works. And it does seem to be working properly there of changing the audio streams. Okay, we'll go ahead now and we will see how well it resumes by going into PS4 Explorer and then jumping right back into the movie. This is something that I do a lot. And there we go. It resumed and picked up exactly where it left off at. Okay, again, the subtitle support is down there at the bottom. So this is obviously being ran off of the USB Zero device. One request has been to run these movies right off of the hard drive themselves. So I'm going to go ahead and give that a shot. So again, I'm going to my mount USB zero. I'm going to press triangle here and I'm going to copy the MKV file and I'm going to go into data, P play, MPV, and then just paste that full movie in there. And we're going to go ahead and try to play this movie directly off of the hard disk drive. Okay, so let's head back into P-Play again, and let's go to our data folder, and then P-Play, MPV, and let's select Uncharted again, and then press X here. And there it goes. The movie is running just like it normally would. So it is pretty cool. You can run these movies right off of your hard drive if you would like. Let's go ahead now and let's test a MP4 file. So again, I'm going to pick a movie that is very current, and I'm going to pick Nightmare Alley here. This is a 1080p AAC5 based movie, and I'm going to select the MP4 here, and I'm going to just go ahead and press X here, and again, it is loading, and there we go. Our movie is playing. And again, there is the subtitles. And again, I just have another external subtitle file here. It was named exactly the same as the MP4 file, which means that it just automatically picked it up and started using it, which was very nice. So both of these formats work very well. And so just to kind of wrap up with P-Play, it will obviously allow you to play the MPV files as well as MP4, but I had my best experiences using it off of a slim PlayStation 4 versus my original fat PlayStation 4. So your mileage may vary, but if you really just want something that can play MPV files, well, I believe P Play has you covered. So thank you so very much for watching, and I'll see you on the next one. Michael out.